welcome to part 3 uh today we are going to do the important filling the blanks or paragraph completion this is a very important part and sometimes it gets very tricky so we are going to look into the paragraph discuss the answers and we are also going to know the meaning of each of the words i have actually chosen a harder paragraph just that we get to know or we are able to learn more important meanings of the words so let us look into the words that are present here first we have temperance then we have notoriety so we are going to know the meaning of temperance we are going to know the meaning of notoriety eminence tumultuous providential and dispassionate first we are going to learn the meanings of all these words then we are going to come into the paragraph and then try to solve the question now let us look into the meanings temperance means abstinence from alcoholic drink and what do we mean by abstinence abstinence means practice of restraining oneself typically from alcohol or sex so temperance means like you are uh, like preventing or you are not drinking alcohol you are like away from alcohol so it means abstinence from alcoholic drink that means temperance notoriety means famous or you can say infamous but famous for a bad thing or a bad quality bad quality so generally criminals are notorious criminals are notorious because criminal is a bad thing to be a criminal is a bad thing so we generally use the word notorious notoriety with the association of the criminals or the person or the people doing bad things so this is your notoriety eminence famed or acknowledged within a particular sphere so this is also your famous and this is also your famous fine but notoriety means famous in a bad thing famous in a in a bad way and eminence means famous in a good way famous in a good way so you can say that this is a positive uh, this is a negative adjective and this is a positive adjective now tumultuous making an uproar loud or confused noise it also means cluttered and confused providential occurring in a favorable time or opportune providential is occurring at a favorable time this passionate it like someone who is not passionate it's not influenced by strong emotion ability to be impartial in the face of adversity passionate means when you are very much influenced by your strong in, uh, strong emotions and this passionate means they are not influenced by the strong uh, emotions abstinence practice of restraining oneself typically from alcohol or sex obscure not easily understood or clearly expressed so now let us look into this thing now temperance means like not drinking alcohol or something like that alcohol not drinking alcohol notoriety means famous and this is also famous but this is negative in nature and this is positive in nature tumultuous means like confused cluttered or you can say like a confused noise or a cry so i can like write it just confused providential is like happening in a good time dispassionate means not influenced by strong emotions now let us look into the paragraph 
So in blank one, you have to fill one word out of this three. And in blank two, you have to fill one word out of this three. Vain and prone to violence, Kara Vigo could not handle success. The more his as an artist increased. So now let us think about this first word. Like something has increasing because he is an artist. He is an artist and because of that, something is increasing. And that something increasing is also increasing his success. So an artist, being an artist is not a bad quality. And if you are a good artist and if you are getting famous as an artist, it cannot be a notoriety because being an artist is a not a bad thing and to be famous as an artist is a not a bad thing. So notoriety is eliminated. Now, what, what is increasing? His eminence is increasing. His eminence, his eminence is an increasing because he is very famous in that particular sphere. His eminence is increasing. Temperance means like restraining from alcohol. So like it doesn't make any sense into this paragraph. So this is eliminated and this is our correct answer. So now when you are filling the blanks, you might find that like two, of, two or three of the words mean the same. Two or three of the words mean the same. But then you have to think that if it is in, in a positive sense, if it is in negative sense, like what is the tone of the sentence you have to understand that and according to it you have to fill in the blanks so notoriety and eminence both mean to be famous but notoriety means to be famous because of some illegal or some criminal act and eminence means to be famous because for some good act so being an artist is a good act that is why eminence will be filled in the more his life has become. So now this person is a very good artist, but this artist is prone to violence and he is not able to handle his success that he got because of his artistry. Now, what his life has become? Uh, like he is prone to violence and he is not able to handle his success. So he is not actually having a good time. He is not having a good time. So this is eliminated. Now, his life is becoming something. Life is becoming something. A life can become confused or a life can become dispassionate. But as because he is an artist, as because he is an artist and his success is increasing. He is an artist and his success is increasing. That means he cannot be dispassionate. He is very passionate. Like, like he is very passionate. One, one thing I can also say because why he is passionate? Because he is very prone to violence. He is very prone to violence and he is also in vain. So these are the qualities of a passionate person and he is very much influenced by strong emotions. So he cannot be passionate. So the only option that is left is tumultuous. That means confused, confused. So this is Shamal Stuas, Shamal Stuas. So that means this person, his uh, success is increasing, his eminence is increasing. That is why his life has become more confused and more out of the way. Now let us look into this particular paragraph. This is a large paragraph. But then options given here are like easy. But this is a small paragraph, but then options given here are hard. Like each and every one of them were words that you don't usually use in everyday conversations. So a small paragraph will, ha will have harder option and a larger paragraph usually have an easier option because a larger paragraph takes time to read and to understand so they gave easy options, but a small paragraph requires very less time to read and understand. So they give very hard options. Now let us look here. There are three blanks and I have to fill them with this thing. 
it is refreshing so it is refreshing to read a book so maybe the book is good this is a good book as because it is a good book that is why it is refreshing to read about our planet by an author who does not allow facts to be something by the politics now this particular author has written a book and that book is refreshing and why that book is refreshing because he is not like um, he is not he is not uh, like he is not helping the politics or like he is not allowing politics to come in the way of his facts so i can say uh, that illuminated is eliminated illuminated means to like uh, like engage something or to like shine a light on something so he is not actually shining lights on politics so he is not allowing the facts to be backed by politics so it cannot be said that he is like allowing the politics to illuminate his facts so this is cut off now invalidated is not an correct option so the correct option is overshadowed so whatever he is writing in the book those are not influenced or those are not overshadowed by the politics now a person can be influenced in two ways a person can be influenced in a positive way and a person can be influenced is in a negative way so whenever we are talking about like influencing or like taking over overshadowed is always seen as an negative negative thing like one of the ways or one of the sentences in which i can uh, explain overshadow is like uh, the singer overshadowed the guitarist so whatever the singer sang he overshadowed or influence the guitarist in a negative way fine so this is a negative tone of the sentence but on the other hand when i say this singer complimented complimented i can say i can also say illuminated illuminated the guitarist that means both of them work in both both of them worked in tandem so that the song flourished and the singer actually complimented like they were like working as a good group so they were like complimenting each other and they were like in sync with each other so it is in positive sense so in this particular sentence the author is not allowing politics to over, uh, not allowing not allowing politics to overshadow the facts written in his book so this will be your option e now let us go to the next one well aware of the political disputes about the effect of human activities on climate and biodiversity this author does not permit them to like what permit them to his comprehensive description uh, comprehensive description of what we know about the biosphere so he is not allowing the political dispute to like in any way harm in any way harm his comprehensive description comprehensive means a detailed a detailed description he is not allowing anything to harm his detailed description so the any word that is like opposite of comprehension comprehensive will be obscure obscure means not clearly expressed or not easily understood so the author does not permit them to obscure his comprehensive description he does not allow anything to make or to reduce his detailed description of what we know about our biosphere he emphasizes emphasizes means give importance give importance give importance uh give importance 
uh, to the enormous gaps in our knowledge, the sparseness. Sparseness means lack of lack of our observation and calling our attention and something calling our attention to many aspects of planetary evolution that must be better understood before we accurately diagnose the condition of our land. So the author, despite, uh, this author, despite of giving us a comprehensive description, he knows that there are enormous knowledge. He is actually giving importance that there are enormous uh, difference or there are enormous gaps in our knowledge, the sharpness, the, uh, the sparseness of our observation. So there is many lack of observation and, and, and like certainty of our entitlement, entitlement. So we cannot be certain. So there are a lot of gaps. So there are a lot of gaps and there are a lot of sparseness so we cannot be certain if there is a lack of something we cannot be certain fine now observation and he is also giving uh, like emphasis on superficiality of our theories superficiality of the theory means he is saying that the theories that we have already given or the theories that we are giving these are only skin deep and those are not actually true. Why they are not true? They are not true because of the enormous gaps that we have in our knowledge and there is also a lack of observation. So that is why our theories are superficial. So he's, this author has written a book and this author has not, uh, does not allow politics to obscure the facts but he also know that the that there are enormous gaps there are also lack of observation and because of these gaps and lack of observation like the theories that we have made are superficial or only skin so we have gone through this uh, meanings so obscure means not easily understood or clearly expressed. Its opposite is comprehensive. We have learned another word. Its opposite is comprehensive. And abstinence from alcoholic drink. Uh, one of the opposite that I can come up right now of abstinence will be indulging. Dispassionate is passionate. And tumultuous means uh, making an uproar or confused noise. So let us look into the words that we have learned in this session. So there were three videos in this particular session. I have divided this like in like different types of questions. We have learned about quagmire. Quag quagmire means a complicated situation or a boggy part of land. Intrigue means a secret plans for doing something illicit or detrimental or you can say intrigue means something that arises your curiosity papal means relating to pope decree means law and order panorama means a view of a reason or a view of an unbroken reason insular means insensitive to the uh, like to the culture or the customs of somebody else or I can also say narrow-minded, narrow-minded. Another word that comes to my mind is dogmatic. Like dogmatic does not actually means insular. Dogmatic means that somebody is very wrapped up in his feelings. And when somebody is very much wrapped up in his feelings, that means he does not actually uh, like look into the other people's belief and he automatically becomes a narrow-minded person. So insular can also mean dogmatic. Then precipice. Precipice means a steep rock or a steep mountain. Staunch means loyal. Retaliate means taking revenge. Temperance means not taking alcohol. 
or abstinence from alcohol then we have notoriety means to be infamous maneuverable means the ability to change direction while in motion like you can change direction but if you are able to change direction while in motion this is maneuverable valiant means like very courage like the ability to show courage in the face of adversity perilous means dangerous eminence means to be famous this both of them becomes famous notoriety and eminence both of them become means famous but this is in a negative sense and this is in a positive sense tumultuous means confused cry or like confusion fluttered providential means opportunate time or like a good time dispassionate dispassionate means to be uh, like uh, not influenced by these strong emotions abstinence means restrain especially from sex and alcohol and obscure means unclear or not clearly expressed so i hope my lesson was not obscure today and whatever i have taught you you are able to understand it properly so if there are any doubts or if you are having any problem please feel free to comment in the comment section below you can get the full materials at www.campusprep.com you can find the quizzes and i am in the process of including more quizzes that is going to help you in the placement preparation and specifically for nqp and you can join this telegram group and communicate with me directly ask me your question we can have in communication and in facebook and instagram you can contact us in facebook and instagram for the regular updates so i hope whatever that i have taught you today is very much understandable so see you in the next lesson in the next lesson uh, we are going to start with the coding segment in there we are going to learn the basic types of coding and some uh, it or software related questions and then we are going to do some programming hands on question so thank you for joining us today and we are looking for your continued support if if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe thank you and have a good day bye bye